Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Bashem Rakakwadash, my name is Yakabo from Plain Tables Camp of Philly. This is a so follow up, you know, the brothers and elders have been doing videos on the brother that made that gross error on the breakdown of Revelation 18, 18 chapter. So, this is the spirit in which I'm doing this video. It says, uh, brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, consider, considering yourself, lest thou also be tempted. Yeah, because every elder, I would say almost, in uh, the camps and brothers have been, you know, corrected and, you know, told to take a video down and redo the video at least once you know myself i'm also guilty of that so when i'm doing this rebuke i'm considering myself first all right and i do consider myself to be spiritual restore such as one in the spirit of meekness all right uh, i want to look a word up here overtaken in a fault yeah fault yeah, paraptoma. Paraptoma. Which means to fall besides or near something, to lapse or or deviation from the truth and uprightness. Because yeah, when you break something down wrong, you're deviating from the truth. Alright, and then this breakdown, you know, I consider kind of simple. Because it tells you, uh, Revelation 18. Lament for Babylon. It says, uh, and the king, kings of the earth, is Revelation 18 and 9. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. All right, so... I don't know if the brother was rushing to do the video. He didn't have his wits about him. Something else was going on in his head. But that this is a gross, gross error. You know, I think when I committed my error, I think I may have confused uh, breakdowns. And I was in a combination with me uh, trying to expedite the lesson. I made my error. All right. So a few years ago, I believe. All right, so like again, every every brother has you know has made made mistakes and we're told to correct certain things. All right, but this, I mean, that's I don't know, that's that's gonna like completely made up his his breakdown. But either way, whatever the, his thought process was, you know, he's being rebuked for it. You know, I didn't really get you know re rebuked openly like this, but you know, I was told to redo the video. All right. Um, so again, it would have been better if you no know, brothers, <laughs> some other brother had caught it first. But then again, you know, so all of us, you know, kind of fearing that this thing happening and it's making us uh, be more aware of the video that's going out and the, and the quality. It's not good to, you know, especially if you're a novice, to, to kind of rush through a video and, you know, you don't know all the material. It's not good to do that. All right, so that's the... Uh, that's where you start from, pretty much. You can get most of the understanding yeah, if you start from there. It's from the ninth verse, Revelation 18 and 9. And then where you made the error at, I think it was down here. Revelation 18 17. For in one hour, so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company in ships and sailors and as many as trade by the sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of a burning at least i think this is where because I, did, I didn't see his, his actual his actual video all right and it's just see the smoke of a burning saying what city is like unto the great city all right so again i'm not sure if this is exactly where but i believe i believe so the ships all right yeah this is Babylon's destruction as it as we established right here in the uh the ninth verse. Alright.
Yeah, if you don't if you don't know the breakdown, I mean, you don't know the breakdown. I mean, sometimes you know we expect you know brothers to know a lot, and sometimes we don't know. That's that's on us. So that's up to us to to constantly go through these precepts, you know, and for brothers to pay attention, you know, myself included. All right, so so when we things come up, we know what we're talking about. All right. Revelation 18, 18, and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? Right. The city is referring to the country of Babylon. It's, this country was a, uh, a land that the Edomites conquered and absorbed into their empire. All right. All right, this is first uh, Timothy three and six. Well, let me start up a little bit. All right. So this just goes over the uh, the attributes of office of a a bishop, right, which is pretty much a what an elder, a captain, a leader within whatever church you're in. All right, so you want to jump down to um. Not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Now, I heard that, if I'm not mistaken, I don't want to be repeating false information, that the brother was supposed to be submitting videos through another brother, and that didn't happen, if that's the right, you know, information. All right, so, if you're supposed to submit, you know, your video to another brother for review make sure you do that it says not a, not a novice let's be lifted up with pride he fall into the combination of the devil moreover he must have a good report of them which are without yeah I mean people got to know who you are right, you can't be the secret Israelite that that don't that don't know any other brother and you expect to get some sort of you know rank you know an honor when people don't even know who you are all right, you don't have works. All right, it says moreover, he must be, have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. Yeah, so people gotta gotta know know you. Let me see. Uh, seven. Let's see, strong. Let's see, uh, do this way. Report. Let's see what that say. The martyria, all right, record, I think, testimony, right? Yeah, testifying office committed to the prophets concerning, all right, one testifies before a judge, future events, all right, a witness. Let's have a witness's evidence. You know, people gotta know, you gotta know your record, record, see, all right, report. Yep, a, given a spoken or written account of something that one has observed, heard, done, and investigated. Yeah, okay. We, we've all, I can say, all the uh, elder brothers and elders uh, of the next generation. You know, we all, well, all, every, everybody's made a mistake, you know, but the next generation, us and the, uh, the elder brothers and elders have made mistakes. You know, we've corrected them. And for the main part, we well, really wasn't, you know, a really big, big deal. You know, but you know, some sometimes you, you need to shine more light on certain certain things more than others. And sometimes, you know, if things happen and it was it was a big deal. You know. But in my case it wasn't that big of a deal. And us and it was all spiritual on, on either end, whether it was made a big deal or it wasn't made a big deal of you know, but that was that was a gross error from Revelation eighteen, because that's kind of a common um scripture that's that's constantly gone over. So that's that's kind of really like it's kind of embarrassing that he didn't know that so i don't know what his state of mind was he maybe was he uh, he mixed a verse up or a scripture i don't know but that, that was a gross gross error for a scripture that we bring out a lot like that revelation 18 comes out a lot and it's always what's always on my mind that that uh chapter babylon has fallen it's fallen coming habitation of devils right that's what it say 
yeah, after these times. So, and I heard a mighty voice, mightily cry, and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, it's fallen, and become the habitation of the devils. Oh, yeah. So, this is a very popular scripture amongst great millstones. So, again, he got to take that one on the, uh, on the chin. All right. Not a, not a novice, all right, because you have the elders, they, they say, and they were saying it so much, I was getting annoyed at the elders saying it. Like, you have some people that don't know what we're involved in. Now, I know, I know why the elders keep saying that. Because that's, that apparently is, uh, it is, it is. Some, some brothers just think that we're involved, we, this is like a, a, a concerned men's, men's group or something. Apparently, you know, I don't, I don't think that. I think this is a very serious um, prophecy, very uh, serious uh, high-level training that we're in right now to prepare for the time of Jacob's trouble, so we can survive that shit. This is not a a, a, a boys, you know, uh, uh, concerned men's group. Neo, Neo, Neo Futos, or Neo Futas, Neo Alright. I'm a master in the Greek too, so if you ain't know. Uh, newly planted, a new convert neophyte, one who has recently become a Christian. Mm -hmm. So, although we have the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm, brothers are just coming in, some of them don't really know the scriptures that well. All right. Meaning that, you know, Ask a brother a breakdown on something just to recite it. Like, what does this mean? Certain things, you know, I'm not saying I know everything either. You know, certain things brothers, younger brothers may not know. You know, and apparently that brother, he was reprimanded before and uh, had to submit his videos. I mean, if that's, you know, accurate. So, either way, you got, this is a popular scripture. You got to take that on, on the chin. Like, it's like kind of like breaking down. Genesis 25, 25 wrong. Right? Like, well, how could you break... Gen and then you had a guy in our camp that couldn't break that down. And then he left and started his own piece of shit group. Alright. Alright. Not a novice. Lest being lifted up with pride. Alright. Let's see what pride say. Two foil. Two full. Two full. Two full. Or tuffle. Tuffle. And I believe this is going to have a. Uh, Why well, this is always looks always negative. It can have a positive or a negative connotation, but I think this is all negative. Rise. Okay, rise. Smoke wrap up in a mess. Okay, so to rise up. So yeah, it can just. It can be. Just saying something that rising and to make proud to puff up with pride render insolent. And this is the negative part of it. Arrogant lack of respect. Bringing yourself elevated higher than you ought to be. That should be one of them. Uh, to blind with pride or conceit. To render foolish or stupid. Beclouded. High minded. Right here. Be lifted up with pride. Be proud. A smoke envelope with smoke. All right. Put up a smoke in this. All right. That's 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 it. Uh, not a novice. All right. So you know, brothers. You know, we gotta look to the your men that are over you for a proper understanding. When you do videos, keep it simple. All right. There's a revel uh, revelation. Isaiah twenty eight. And eight says, for all the tables are full of vomit. You eat on a table. All right, so it's your mind. All right, and you're throwing it back up. Uh, so you're consuming you no know, false doctrine. All for all the tables are full of vomit. All right, and filthiness, so that there is no place clean. Whom shall we teach knowledge? Alright, so this is 
referring to you know false false prophets, uh, Israelites that are going off into idolatry. They're taking in the wrong information that's going to lead them to the destruction. Right. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand the doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Alright. So, you, I guess you can say this is considered, will be con Revelation 18, pro this prophecies, knowledge, heavier knowledge than milk. Alright. For precept must be upon precept. Upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to his people. Alright. So, them that are weaned, the main thing here is them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Weaned. It says, uh, to ripen, to bear ripe. To deal fully with recompense. To deal fully with. So you can fully get into the word if, you, if you're if you weaned. To do bountifully with. You get the whole, receive the whole word when you're weaned from the milk. Alright. Alright. So yeah, it can be uh, positive or negative in this account of saying it's positive so it says, it says here well or ill because when you when you wean from something you mean you're taking something away because you're punishing them or you're taking it away because they no longer need it so that's how it can have both all right said so it's even that see that explanation i just did that's that could be considered uh meat that can be considered sort of deep but you gotta be able to see that some words have duality, right? and you gotta read the sentence too. Sometimes I have the word there, and then before it, it'll say la'a, which means no or not. Right? And if if you don't understand something, you know, pause it and rewind it, and so you can hear it again. Right? And try not to, you know, rush through videos. So you make less mistakes and you might have to start writing things down too and be a little more organized and you'll make less mistakes because you're never going to do a, a absolutely perfect video. All right. So. Uh, precept. All right. For stammer lips to whom he said, this is the rest is Isaiah 20 and 12 to whom he said, this is the rest wherewith you may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing yet they would not hear. But. The word of Yahweh was unto them precept upon precept. And it was unto who? What? Wicked Israelites. And this is the negative part of how this word is going to be to wicked Israelites. But the word was unto them precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. So he searched the scriptures that they might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. All right, so that's what's going to become of wicked Israelites trying to break down the scriptures you know, and we don't want to be put in that category all right we want to be we want to be put on the, the category where we wean from the milk meaning we no longer uh need the the milk to come into understanding all right we, we still use the milk all right but when we uh read and break things down we can break things down beyond the the milk Alright. For alright, that, that was it. Alright, so that, that's that's pretty much what I had. Uh that's pretty much my thoughts on it. Um just keep it simple. Um even myself, I'm I'm just trying to just keep it simple and you know, sometimes I recognize things as I'm reading it and I can interpret it while I'm reading it because I can understand how the words can be used differently in different contexts all right so and that takes skill too to do that on the fly so everybody can't do that so transgression fall offense trespass yeah. all right so i hope you were edified uh to the next lesson shalom